a massive asteroid nearly crashed into Earth, guys, just about a week ago, July 25th, 2019. This was asteroid 2019. Okay, this was not an asteroid that NASA had on their radar. They did not know about this asteroid at all. In fact, they didn't even find out about it until just hours before it came super close. In fact, NASA described it as being uncomfortably close to Earth. It passed by at about 45,000 miles, which is about one-fifth the distance to the moon. I mean, this thing was super, super close. And they said that it was the size of about 130 meters wide. Now, to kind of put this into perspective for you, NASA said that if this asteroid were to have crashed into a city somewhere, anywhere in the world, they said it would have destroyed an entire city and probably other cities even around that. I mean, we are talking, talking about the potential of like a nuclear bomb going off if this asteroid had connected with a city. But thank God it didn't. But they had no warning. And that's the thing about these asteroids is that although NASA has pages upon pages of asteroids that they know are coming, even 5, 10, 20, 30, even 40 or 100 years from now, they know when these asteroids are coming. But this one, they did not see. And that is something that we always need to keep in mind because no matter how much NASA tracks these things, no matter how much warning they try to give us, there are going to be these instances where we don't get a warning. And next time, it could be an asteroid even larger than this that could come even closer to Earth. Now, remember what the Bible says. The Bible describes the major asteroid that's going to hit the Earth in the end days, and it's called Wormwood. It talks about the giant star falling from heaven. I can guarantee you that that is not going to be an asteroid that NASA is going to be able to stop. I mean, it's prophesied to happen in the Bible. So thank God we avoided this asteroid. But when is the massive one coming? Now, we don't know that. Only God does. But we need to remember to keep our, keep our heads up, keep looking to the skies, because Jesus said there would be signs in the sun, the moon, and in the stars. And that's where we need to be looking. I mean, not just for asteroids, but we need to be looking up for the return of our Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You don't have to have fear. If you have Christ living on the inside of you, you have nothing to worry about. You have peace. You know that no matter what happens, you're going to have eternity with the Lord in heaven. So if you don't know that for sure, you might want to reach out to the Lord. You might want to ask him in your heart to forgive you of your sins before something like this happens, before Christ comes back. Guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this major asteroid nearly missing Earth? Let me know. Sound off down below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will talk with you soon.